Hi, Drew here. Welcome to Born or Barn Diecast. Should I say welcome back? It's been a long time, guys. Sorry for the delay. Well, here's the long delayed Duke My Duke Fest Ultimate Duke's build. Well, it started off here with this Maesto Dodge Charger that I turned into a General E. I had an extra glass in the interior. Talk about a difficult build. But came out pretty sharp, I think. I apologize for not having a push bar for it. I was a, had tried to order it, plus a bunch of the wheels from a company, and they acted like my money wasn't good enough, so I skipped on that and just concentrated on get, trying to get stuff done. So I have to apologize. Some of the wheels are a little, are a little bit off, but for the most part, you know, everything else came out pretty good on, I think. But this is generally the first one I'm showing. Next is a char Dodge Charger 500 that changed the grill over. There's the decals on it. Yeah, it's not the correct wheels. Sorry, guys, but I think I did a pretty good job on her. You know, came out pretty good. Next, we have Charger 500 that I'd had for years, but kind of redid a little bit, changed the wheels out. Missing a back bumper, I'm trying to find one. Anybody knows a racing champions brewer bumper I can get? <laughs> I need one. But this is one of the ones that you could build. But I think it came out pretty good. Next, let's change it up a little bit. I also did an Uncle Jesse's truck. This was an NYPD tow truck. That I de detailed out as Uncle Jesse's. <laughs> Couldn't have a Duke, everything Duke's without Uncle Jesse's truck. Could not find a 73, you know, 73 to 77 style truck at a decent price. But I had this one and I said, what the hell? Time to. So I figured I'd make Uncle Jesse proud with this truck. And I did my damnedest. Next, a little bit different. I did a fantasy one. What happened is generally was built on a <laughs> Daytona Charger. Well, not too bad. Actually, came out good. And we'll continue that little pop there with another fantasy. One which is actually I've seen running around at some of the Duke uh reunions and stuff. But I've actually got a sixty nine grill in it. This was a you know, uh Fast and Furious style, you know, Dom's car. But I think it looks damn good as generally. Next up, from my favorite episode, one of my favorite episodes, Kale Yarbrough's 69 Dodge Charger that became a General E later. I think, I think General B or C. I guess it was in General C. Living in the. And, you know, I think it came out really sharp. Considering it, I had had originally painted orange, that was going to be a general, and then I changed the score, a slightly better one. We found generally, which is this, with the opening hood. Did the general proud here? So 
in vain. Anything you'd want for Julie, you want. Except for, actually having the one from the episode, Repo Man. You know, the car's a little bit wrong, but, you know, good enough for an old drunk, especially considering I built it out of a 70 GTX. <laughs> Right, so let's see what we got here. So we got what was the Johnny Lighton barn find that I did, decked out. It turns into a generally styled after from my other favorite episode, Carnival of Thrills. Plus, I've managed to score the AMC ma uh, Matador that was used in the ending credits of every episode. Let's see if it turns out. Yeah, it is a pretty cool car. I explored Enos's car. It had a flaw in it when I got it, which was not the seller's fault. It was that I screw it from the factory, and I tried piecing it back together as best as possible. But you know, hey, Anus's car always was tore up anyhow, so I lived with it. I won't blame the seller one bit. You know, seller had no no, no no control over how green light, you know, their shoddy quality is sometimes, and you know. You, of all things, it had to hit that, huh? <clears throat> so then I got also a Roscoe's car from from episode one, with you know where Leo one Lee one is jumping. I think that's a pretty good up representation of it. Speaking of the of the first episode. You know, Kiru will this, you know. You know, this is an added to the Beast collection. Along with Kiru's tow truck. So I've been cut, you know, I have to apologize that I had a, you know, health hasn't been the greatest in the world. I'm looking at having major surgery and may end up losing my voice over this. So that's why my voice has gotten worse over the years, it seems like. So I'll probably be stepping away from doing camera, you know, filming these. I will put in the, uh, any of the builds I do, like on Pinterest and uh, Instagram. Maybe on Facebook. If I can get back into my groups, if I get back into my actual Facebook page, um, you know, I'll share with the groups. But I'm crying, guys. Yeah, plus, we got Daisy Z. Plus, another car from, episode, from Repo Man episode. Yeah, Lulu's. You know, the Rolls Royce that Lulu wanted. You got Dawson's Caddy. And Dawson's Caddy came out pretty decent, I think. I used the tires and wheels off of Johnny Light and uh, Lincoln that was used in uh, the Starship and Hutch uh, two pack. Same Starship Hutch car there. <laughs> it looks out of a different engine than that 
Set up. I did promise you guys I would get this stuff done. I gotta do it. Minus one generally, which is I had the base break and it, I lost the grill out of it because of that. So I'm gonna hunt for replacing that grill and stuff out of that generally. So and that's the nerdle one, unfortunately. So I gotta find me another base up for a nurdle one of these days. But in the meantime, I think I'm pretty happy with what I got. But I hope you guys like. If you do hit that like button, you know. I uh, would say subscribe, but I don't know if I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna try. And I'm not gonna, I'm not giving up. But uh, don't look good, guys. So that said. Please take care. Have a great one. And hopefully see you soon. All right. Take care.